Hello everyone, it's Fidel here again for a quick tip and very short tutorial on how to create uh, rusted uh, metal like this in Substance Painter. Now it's going to be a very quick tip. Uh, we're not going to by any means uh, paint the whole uh, material or all of these details, but uh, this will just serve as a tip when you're building a, a larger textures or more complex textures. Let's head into Substance Painter. Here we are in Substance Painter. We are going to be using the Substance Native uh, Meat Mat that comes with Substance for this tutorial. I'm going to solo the head here. Uh, we will work with simple geometry. Uh, in Substance, there is this default rust material that ships with it. We Let's have a look at it. Yes, it looks like this. Now if we uh, bring our material from the internet, we can see the, there are some similarities in it. And this is exactly what we are just going to be replicating uh, in one layer, basically. Uh, and we're not going to be uh, using extensive many layers. And we, we I'm going to switch this off and I'm going to create a, a new empty layer. And that new empty layer, I'm going to switch off. I'm going to switch off uh, the height, normal, since I'm not going to be using them. And leave only color and roughness. I'll add a new fill, and in that fill, I'm going to add a. I'm going to still disable this. Uh, in the base color, I'm going to add a grunge. Now, the grunge will serve as uh, to to bring out make most of this variation. That's just the, the, the reason for the grunge. Uh, I'll choose a simple one for now. We can always change later. It's substance. It's very procedural. I'll choose this one for now. I think it looks better with all the. There's a lot of noise in it. I'll add a levels here. Now, this levels is just uh, used to control uh, the darker parts uh, to, to lift or to, to remap basically the, the, the range of values in the, the grunge map. I'm going to rename this to grunge. And this, this will remain base color. So let's add a, another fill and I'll bring this fill above and this will affect this will be the color proper I'll disable height normal again and metal and in the, the color I'm going to press shift sample and drag I'll sample from here or even from my map now my map is not on screen and that's where I'm sampling from anyway we'll sample from here for now that I'm going to keep and I'm going to change the blending mode here to multiply now you will notice a lot of dark spots here but relax there's a lot of tweaking to be done well, i'm going to add uh, another filter and now add sharpen sharpen will be used to bring out a lot of uh, this this bright highlights in this uh some of these highlights in this uh rust now if i increase the intensity of the sharpen you start seeing how it, it's coming out but now let's compare these two. Now again, you will notice that here there are, there are no dark spots here. There are just too many dark spots and we need to fix that. So I'll go to the levels here and I'll drag this up. Pull this again. Now if that map isn't good, I'm going to change that map by all means. And I want to think that map, well, I'm going to change the map for another. Let's go back to the grunge here. And of course, in the roughness, we can uh, use. Let's check this out. We can use this. And uh, yeah, in the roughness too, we're going to use the same map so that it starts looking uh, better. I mean, I mean, if we compare these two, we start seeing some uh, little similarities already. We need more work. Now, everything that is left is just uh, about tricking the parameters. I'll go to this grunge and I'll change the map, basically. 
Okay, I think this looks good. I'm going to use it. Oops, I, I put that in the roughness instead. So I'll put that in the base color and you start seeing how it starts looking good. Maybe the sharp, uh, the sharpen here is doing too much. So I'll, I'll also come to the levels here and do something. So that's just it. The rest, the rest is just tweaking. Now you can add more complexity by adding more layers and uh, changing the, um, the 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 value of the of the of the brown of the brown of the brown color. And you're going to basically get to it. And you mix and you blend layers and you're going to get to it. But this is just to show us that in one layer we can accomplish a lot. So thank you and uh, that's it for today.